Welcome! Hello gorgeous! How are you today? I hope you are well. Today I have... <laughs> I know, the ultimate sin, right? I bought a knockoff tarot deck from Amazon. This was <laughs> very cheap. It kept getting suggested to me. And... Which is good because I kept looking for a love tarot deck. It sounds nothing like me because I hate doing love readings. And every reading I do turns into a love reading because guess what? People really want to know about love. They seem to really like love. <laughs> They're always wanting to find it. I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> I only say that because I'm very, very married. I've been married for, I don't know, what are we on? Like 17 or something years? It's been a while. So yeah. So anyways, I, this is the only one that I looked through the pictures and was like, you know what? I'll give it a whirl for, I don't know, it's like 12, 13 bucks. I don't have a single love tarot deck because I just refuse, but this is the only one that I've ever seen and been like, yeah, we'll have a go at that. I could add that to my collection, I think. Um, I do love angels, so, but I tend to go with dark, oh my goodness. Yeah, we need to say a little prayer that I don't pop these nails off. These are not great nails. I love the color, but when I was gluing them on, I was like, these, these aren't gonna stay on very long. <laughs> I hope they make it through a video. So, <laughs> anywho, uh, but yeah, this is clearly a reprint. Um, I think it said like made in China on the sticker. If y'all saw that, I don't care. Um, I don't care. I know we all have. Everybody's mad at Nor Dor. How do you say her name? Doreen Virtue. I've never in my life owned a deck from her before. But I know she caught a lot of flack because she married some dude that she made all these cool tarot decks that people really connected with. They were a bunch of angelic decks and people really loved her stuff and claimed that she helped them through all these hard times. And then she found a new man and denounced all things tarot and occult. And, and now you can't. I don't think I could have bought this brand new if I was trying. I don't think that it's in, in printing or whatever you call that. I don't think they're still printing that. So I bought the knockoff. I know. Super bad person. I don't care. <laughs> don't care. We are going to flip through it today. Also, I have this lovely... Uh, aside from these cool, terrible nails <laughs> that are probably going to pop off during the video, I burnt my finger so bad the other day. I went to pick up my coffee cup out of the microwave, the microwave, and... Holy moly, it was the hottest it's ever been. That microwave is dangerous hot. Uh, we have two. We had to buy a second when we moved here because our youngest was too short to reach the one above the oven. But holy moly, that sucker got me. This is, We're going on like over a week and this is just not healing. So please, I know it's gross. I'm sorry. I love scars though. If you have a cool scar story, please tell me it. I, uh... The best one I've ever seen, both my brothers are in heaven, but my oldest brother, when we were little kids, he, uh, he was a boy scout. And this is like, I don't know, he's probably like six or seven years old. No, he's probably seven or eight. I can't remember because I was pretty young. And he, uh, no, I think I was in diapers, like that young. <laughs> but I, I remember his scar always. I don't remember the surgeries. But yeah, his friends, they were waiting for my mom to pick him up after Boy Scouts and they dared him to climb the flagpole so he did it and he got up there and then somehow the rope got caught around his arm and he slid down and it tore the arm from the bone or like the bone was still attached but the arm <laughs> slid down so anyways that's really graphic apologies um <laughs> But, but it's it healed the coolest way. They had to put balloons in it in his arm to stretch the skin so they could re-sew it back together. And it left him with the coolest lifetime scar where his entire arm had like the perfect... It looked like a, it was right in the center of his muscle of his bicep too. So it was kind of neat because it just made this really cool... Um, almost looked like a cool bracelet almost. Not in a not manly way, but... It was crazy. I mean, it was a scar. It was definitely a scar, but it was so uniform and perfect. It was just wild. I've never seen a scar cooler than that, and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> but if you have a good scar story, let me know. I love that stuff. Total weirdo. I know. Apologies if that grosses you out, but <laughs> here we go. Let's finally get to this deck. 
we're five minutes in. We haven't even started turning. Oh, we even started flipping cards. But you know what? We'll just go like this. We'll go this way. So we've got... I love that they gilded. They tried. I mean, it looks kind of like cheap gilding, but they tried. Also, they're kind of sticking together. <laughs> it's a cheap... It's a knockoff. You know what? I didn't pay a whole lot, so we're just going to love it for what it is. You deserve love. You are lovable. Cute. Oh, I like that it's kind of vintagey. That's cool. Maybe that's why I liked it. I love the old vintage stuff. And my parents owned uh, antique shops. My grandparents owned antique shops. So I'm big on like the, oh, they're sticking together so bad. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> there we go. With these big claws on. Oh, we're in trouble today. Anyways, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Ooh, see this comes up in everybody's reading and it's never wrong. Well, not this card, obviously, but the, uh, so the four of wands. <laughs> Anyways, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, that's true. Like, I, yeah. People need to get clear on their intentions because some people be all over the map. I don't love love readings. I know people are way too into like love spells and forcing it, but trust, like just love yourself and love will, will hunt you down once you love yourself and you're happy being alone. <laughs> but if you're out there trying too hard, it's never gonna happen for you. And if they don't notice that you're alive, then that's not the person for you. So stop trying to force it, just like let it be. You gotta work on loving yourself. So if you're gonna do a love spell, do it to love yourself more. <laughs> Just trust me on that. <laughs> and then we've got unrequ <laughs> unrequited love. What do you know? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's hilarious. Um, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Faith's a big, big deal. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. OMG. <laughs> Whoa, okay. And we're sticking so bad. Look at that. This could be the one... You've already met the romantic par partner you seek. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to see that card a lot. A lot. Yeah, I hate doing love readings, but that is my number one question from everybody. And I don't have any love decks because I just refused. <laughs> so it's like, I will finally get one. I ordered a couple other decks I'm going to do some flip throughs on. And I figured, why not? Why not have one romance deck in here? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You know what? Those are stuck. Ugh. I'm gonna kill these cards because <laughs> I'm gonna end up bending them too hard and they're gonna have creases. Soulmate! Yes, this is your soulmate. How cute! Separation! Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Some people might be like grateful about that. <laughs> I'll probably see that one, but in like the. Hopefully not a breakup sense, but <laughs> yeah. Some people will be spending way too much time together. <laughs> Absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Oh, see, that's a cute one. What a pretty message in there. Retreat. I'm not, like, super, I'm just not gushy lovey, you know? This is not my forte. <laughs> Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Ooh. It's like the honeymoon card or something? Goodness, these are sticking together so badly. Ah, this is the worst one I've ever had, and I was expecting it to be that way, and it's fine. <laughs> but it's annoying. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Ugh, I live in Utah. I'm going to see this card a million times. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Ugh. I hope I don't see this one. I hope everybody releases their ex. That's not fun. Maybe that's why I don't like the <laughs> I want to hear all the terrible details of the crappy past. <laughs> so evil. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Oh, funny. See, so we had this one get rid of them, and then this one, they're coming back. <laughs> Yikes. Playfulness. Okay, I love this picture right here. I love the swing. Yeah, I'm total, I'm such a kid. I'm a Leo, so we keep it playful. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, that's me. I'm a butt clown in every situation. I will make a joke. I will find something to like play around on. Yeah, 
totally. That's my card. <laughs> okay. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Ooh, I feel like this is a really important one, and I'm probably going to see that come up all the time as well. <laughs> past life relationship? Okay, I love that. I'm super into the past lives. What's your guys' take? I just finally finished. I bought Many Lives, Many Masters years ago, and I finally just dug it out and read it the other day. <laughs> and it's so weird because... The whole time I was just like, yeah, I already know all of this. Like, I guess that's my beliefs pretty closely. I mean, not all the way. It's kind of got a grim, it's got this really like heartfelt, good, hopeful stuff, but then all the, as well, kind of grim, like we're just here for karmic debt kind of thing, which I don't think so. I think we're here for many more reasons than just that. It's not just punishment. I think we do come down here to feel like the tangible stuff. That you can't feel when you're in the other dimensions or planes or however you want to say it, whatever you believe and if you don't believe in any of that all good like i can respect whatever your beliefs are please don't trash mine <laughs> like let's agree to disagree at this point i've heard i study all the religions and spiritual beliefs because at this point i kind of believe them all <laughs> like little bits from all of them i hear stuff and i'm like yeah that's right and then but i hate organized religion because i feel like it got so corrupted along the line that it's not what it's supposed to be anymore so <laughs> i'm not down with like churches and going to churches but i'm very spiritual and i have big big angels so i love god i'm tight with god no worries there it's just i have like weird not everybody agrees with me, but I totally believe in the past life thing. Let me know if you've, you've ever done one of those regressions. I would love to do a regression. Passion. Allow your heart and soul... Wait. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Hmm. Passion. I don't know why we have to have, like, an angelic angel trying to get down with a hot chick on this one. Like, this feels a little bit sacrilege. Come on, Doreen. Maybe that's why she ditched the, her old ways. Because you can't be having angels trying to get down. That's that's a hot picture, but it's almost ruins it for me. <laughs> okay. Never mind. All right. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh my gosh. This is when they get the butterflies and you're all Twitter painted. That's going to be fun. I'll bet you that one shows up. <laughs> I can already tell there's like a solid five that I'm just gonna pull non-stop so great <laughs> make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take oh that's cute they're way too young to be hugging on each other though knock it off kids go play <laughs> love yourself first ah oh, this is yeah this is my this is my thing anytime somebody comes to me all love sick and they're like I just want I just want to fall in love so bad. I'm always like, no, stop. <laughs> stop it. You don't. You don't need love. You need to love yourself first. <laughs> like, and once you love yourself, it's going to hunt you down and tackle you. And you will have the perfect love. But you got to get right with yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Ladies and gentlemen, that couldn't be put any better. <laughs> Excellent card there. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Oh, that's so cute. OMG, she got like a little crystal ball up in there. Got a cherub. That's so cute. Oh, I love it. Uh, let go of control issues. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's everybody. Don't we all struggle with that, though? Do you struggle? I do. I'm a control freak because I just hate change. <laughs> Unless it's good change, which it hardly ever is. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nowadays it is, but yeah. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Ugh. See, I get a routine down and then like any little hiccup just makes me crazy. How do you do with that? Do you like it to keep it spontaneous or do you like a routine? Let me know. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Huh. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You know what? The, yeah, that one's pretty... That's pretty true. I think a lot of people pass up like the right person for them when everybody else is like no they're perfect for you <laughs> is they just didn't connect on the first time around i don't know it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all uh -huh. it's safe for you to love cute i love her horse i'm a horse weirdo because i used to have and ride horses on the ranch my grandparents used to race uh or own race horses so I'm a horse freak. <laughs> I'm like Tina from Bob's Burgers, but but I had a horse. I had a lot of horses. 
um, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Ooh, that is a cool card. I like the sky in that one. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Ugh. No, see, this is me. This is not me. <laughs> I don't want to have those heart to heart. I'm not an emotional, like, let's talk about our feelings. Yeah, it's just so not me. That's why I avoided these kinds of cards and decks. <laughs> but yeah, <Ew. laughs> yeah, I'm not that. I'm not that womanly in that sense. I'm like, mm, want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm so backwards, though. <laughs> Most chicks are like, let's talk about it. Let's have an honest conversation. And I am the opposite. So healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Huh. You know what? Yeah, actually, I think when you watch a dysfunctional relationship growing up as a kid, it probably really does mess with you when you go to be in a relationship. Yeah, totally. My brother and I... My youngest older one, he's four years older than me, and we grew up our whole lives, like, all the time. Our parents fought, like, wolves, and <laughs> it, was, it was pretty gnarly, actually. I don't know why I'm making light of it, but um, that's how I deal, I guess. <laughs> get sarcastic, but, but we swore. We swore forever, all the time. Like, when I grow up, I am never getting married. Never, ever, ever, and he didn't make it too far. He's in heaven, but... So he never got married. He stuck to it. Uh, good for him, you know. <laughs> I, wound, I wound up, I'm married. <laughs> and for like 17-ish years. I should really figure out how many, because I think our anniversary, <laughs> our anniversary is 7, 8, 9. And we did that on purpose because we knew we would forget <laughs> the date if we didn't and I think we've only forgot once good for us right um but I was the first one to remember that we forgot and that was a couple days later so I think I win on that right <laughs> like, <laughs> we're just not romantic you know so it's funny but yeah I totally grew up thinking I will never get married and look at me now holy cow it's weird life is weird you guys so then we got give your relationship a chance work on your partnership Ew, i don't want this one to pop up because i don't want people that have to work on it i think some people just don't know when to give up or quit like <laughs> i think i'm a little backwards on this one i don't know if i agree on that it shouldn't be constant work like it is work sometimes because you're never gonna agree with anybody all the time but it shouldn't be like always shouldn't suck you know <laughs> if it sucks get out <laughs> Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's very self-explanatory, right? Duh. <laughs> okay. Oof, we got a unicorn up in here? Free yourself. Look, he's in the corral. That's a tiny corral for how big that critter is. That's mean. <laughs> Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, yeah, that's for the single ladies right there, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> forgiving and learning Ugh. as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments yeah totes this is gonna be one of those that, like people that need to work on themselves it's probably gonna come up for that <sighs> again <laughs> Just, i'm more of like a let's talk about your career are you gonna move uh, are you having a boy or a girl <laughs> like, <laughs> i don't like the love stuff that's and it's all people want to talk about and ask me about so flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Whoa, <laughs> maybe, not if they're taken, okay? <laughs> but, but sure, I guess, flirting's fun, used to be. I, haven't, I don't do that, so <laughs> I guess. I hope that one doesn't come up too often. Finances and career. See, this is me right here. <laughs> Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Oh, gee, I hope not in bad ways. Well, maybe I don't want that one to come up. <laughs> but that's more my style right there. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's scary trying to be like, I like you. No, I like like you. <laughs> like, oh, scary moment for people. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one's, yeah, not my... Ah, like, did I say commitment? Ah, you know, run. No, I'm just kidding. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Ew, we hate that card. Ugh. 
no <laughs> attraction Ooh, okay you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yes yes again this is this is a good message and people need to pay attention to this one way more yeah yeah put good out there and then good's gonna come your way yeah calling in your soulmate your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Woo! I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if angels and guardians and all that kind of mess a little bit with, like, putting people on the same path. I do kind of wonder if they are like, you know what? They could use a good person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure those two cross paths. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know that you could call them in. I wonder. What do you think? I don't know. Interesting. Chemistry. Yeah, that's important. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, so I've had friends that are like, ugh, like they'll be hanging out with a guy and th that would be the perfect man for them and they treat him like a queen uh, as friends. And then I'm like, dude, if you dated him, you could totally marry that guy and he would just like love you so hard and but they'll be like yeah i'm just not attracted <laughs> to him it's like girl what are you doing that's the one for you <laughs> but but apparently chemistry is more important than than we realize so <laughs> i don't know <laughs> uh children your love life is being affected by children <laughs> <laughs> Those kids are really getting in the way of your uh, couple's time, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> go on dependency. You can call a babysitter or something and go on a date night, I guess. That's what that card says. Anyways, codependency. Our last one. Ooh, and a not fun one to talk about. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Ooh, guilty. Ben guilty of that. <laughs> I've got issues, though, okay? I've got excuses, <laughs> Anyways, man, I do love this side of the cards. This this is a pretty deck, okay? I'm happy I got it. I don't care that it's a reprint and a knockoff. I know, I know. You can come for me. Come for me in the comments. I get it. <laughs> I'm expecting it. But if you're looking for a beautiful, beautiful, kind of vintage vibe, vintage, vin ugh, vintage angelic deck, go with this one. It's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and if you're looking for love remember don't go out there trying to find it don't focus on that focus on loving yourself okay <laughs> that's the key i promise you i promise you love yourself and it's gonna come and hunt you down okay <laughs> so, good luck to you thank you so much for spending so much time with me on this deck this was a long long flip through y'all and I appreciate you. Drink more water. Do something good for somebody. Be nice to yourself. I love y'all. Bye, YouTube family. I don't know what to call you. <laughs> At this point, we're family. So, <laughs> bye. Take care. You know what we forgot to do? <laughs> I've never talked through one of these. Honestly, my husband calls me during every time I'm filming. So, <laughs> he likes to call and vent between job sites. So... We didn't get our initial uh, shuffle in, and I think it's because these are cheap cards and they're not expecting very much. Half of them stuck together, so. Oh, you know what though? We'll give them a, we'll give them a four out of five on that initial shuffle. You know what? They shuffle well, actually. I'll give them five out of five. They do feel a little bit cheap, but the ink looks pretty good. They're not super reflective, um, kind of, if you film, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, I feel like I'm gonna lose a nail. <laughs> That's what I was talking about earlier. Let's see if we can't do a quick reading for you. If you found this video, maybe there's a message for you. Tiny mini read. Actually, nobody wants to pop out, so I'm gonna force one, okay? <laughs> unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going oh i don't want to put that bad juju out there for you let's see what else <laughs> is it safe it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all wow okay so <laughs> uh if there's not enough attraction uh walk away <laughs> it's a safe time for you to love just uh <laughs> not if they're not into you okay 
He's just not that into you. And then we got past life relationship on the bottom of the deck. You have known each other before. Wow. We're just all over the map on today's tiny reading. I think because I wasn't trying too hard. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bye.